welcome to another vlog from Jim and Jeremy Coffee Cup. Today I'm at the airport pub, which is about 50 feet away from 23 right at Manchester Airport. Just to just for a warning, there's gonna be some wind, a lot of engine noise, and a fence in the way of the planes, but you can't get much closer than this pub to the runway. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm about to, because this is gonna be amazing. <laughs> goes down the runway and disappears from view look what's just turned up Singapore Airlines you see right now just there we go up it goes and Singapore lining up for its trip to Houston I do apologise for the fencing, but you can't get much closer than this to the end of this runway and the noise. Got my wheel looking like a clip the fence. <laughs> so that plane goes to Houston, it then comes back here and then flies to Singapore. Now we've heard right now at takeoff, of course. Whoa. Who's ready to hear that beauty at takeoff, of course? Come on, 
autopilot, crank up that energy, come on. There we go. Where's he gone? That's what they were waiting for. Right, the virgin should start moving now. miles away it thought really close. This is gonna be loud.
love to see its nose lift off. That car is out of the way. There it is. right now for the wind noise and the wind interference but the views you get from this pub car park I mean there's the pub from this pub's beer garden is just amazing the fence has to be that high for a deterrent so I'm getting onto the airfield but the views you get of especially from the coming into land on 23 right is spectacular. Unfortunately, we have missed Etihad and Emirates. We've not missed Qatar. There's a very good reason for that. That's the plan I'm here to see. Because, you know, like the last couple of videos, we've seen grey Qatar. Today, confirmed, and it's currently in the air, is the special livery Qatar. I genuinely can't wait to see this thing. I mean, I've seen pictures of it and it looks spectacular. But I thought, where should I get it from? View Park again, South Side that we've always been to, we've been to before, or the Airport Pub? Well, I chose the Airport Pub, didn't I? And it's due in, in about oh, what for you will be a couple of minutes, but well, for me it's an hour. So. <laughs> The weather isn't as sunny as it was last time I was here. Last time I was here, it was glorious. And that is probably one of my highest videos in a week. And coming in right now on 23 left, 23 right, SAS. The sound and the speed, it's intoxicating. Most of these planes are special to look at, but the Qatar is definitely a reason to come out and see. And I genuinely can't wait to see it. See what else take off and lands before that arrives, shall we? You see that there? Front of a 747 and the back of, well, I think it's just mainly a 747 with just different engines on it, but that is used by the fire brigade at Manchester Airport to simulate how they'd tackle a fire on board an airplane. Since I've lived in Manchester, that's not actually happened in real life. But it has happened in Manchester once before. And it is a disaster. I'll definitely be doing a video on in the future. I'm not going to go into it now, obviously. But now, if we look over here, do you see? That there, that is Concord. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. We can actually see Concord from here. There's the control tower. Terminal 3, that's due to open in the next couple of weeks. And, best news of all, 
know that they're all currently landing. know they're all currently landing. Speak of the devil, right now. Currently landing on 20. Right. Or 05 left. Well, in a couple of weeks' time, 23 left's going to open. And I genuinely can't wait. But we all know what that means, don't we? Oh, yes. We're going to be back here again to see planes take up on land on both runways. And I think to make it a bit more special, I think we'll head somewhere over there because that is the south side viewing area. And I can't think of a better place to go and watch them, to be honest. But now Manchester, I think, so it's gone all quiet. It's settling down now for when the Qatar turns up. And I genuinely can't wait. Apparently it's only 15 minutes out. Manchester Airport is quiet. Because of the wind, I've got these on. It'll be the first time, I think, on this channel where Manchester Airport will have both runways open. The smile on my face when I come here and see that. I generally can't wait. Coming up on the channel over the next few weeks, London's back on the schedule. Yep, we've seen it on Train Sim World 2, we're going to do the Bakerloo line. And we're going to see a different airport because we've seen Manchester a few times. Well, how about we're going to see Britain's busiest airport? Oh, yes, we're going to go to Heathrow and to see planes land. Now, there's not a view park as such there. There's a part in a housing estate near Heathrow where the planes actually fly over your head. And some of the ones you see down in Heathrow, I generally can't wait to see. There's just a steady stream of arrivals at the minute in Manchester, and I think... Yeah, there's another right now coming in. <laughs> Obviously. Um... So yeah, Heathrow's going to be on the channel. We're eventually going to get down to East Midlands because we definitely see some cargo planes on the channel, don't we? Of course we do. And we're just going to just enjoy have a really, really good time. Why the hell not? But hopefully the main event turns up soon. Because as windy as it is and as much as I'm enjoying myself, it is very, very cold. Ladies and gentlemen, it, here it comes now, 23 right, Manchester Airport, Qatar Special Livery, hello gorgeous. What a beautiful, beautiful aircraft. And we were here to see it, and it's a gust and a lot of wind. That is probably the messiest landing I've seen from a Qatar Airways plane, but that was so worth it. <laughs> now that was cool. <laughs> that was amazing. It, the sun was perfect, it was out, it caught it beautifully, and do you know what? I don't care how messy that landing was, that was beautiful. So I think I've got a bit of time to wait before one of the Middle East and the Big Three leave. Now I have had a look at flight radar. There's just a plain white A380 in today. Someone at Emirates didn't get the memo, did they? Send the specials in all in one day, that'd be pretty special. But yeah, Qatar special livery. Now that was worth the trip out for, all by itself. That was genuinely amazing. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see it leave, but just to see it come in is just... That was amazing. I mean, I'm trying not to smile, but honestly, I can't take the smile off my face. That was genuinely amazing. I think what I might do is 
go back to the airport properly, go to level 13, on top of terminal 1, and see if we can see it, but I know where Qatar Park's in terminal 2, and all we're going to be able to see is literally that. You're not going to be able to see anything else other than the tail fin. See what else is in, I mean, I know Singapore's left, Virgin's have left, which you've seen. But just to see what else is come, see what else is in, because I know when I walked through before, Ethiopia was there. Do you know what? Let's go. To, let's go to level thirteen, shall we? If it wasn't as windy and the specials were out, I'd have been here a lot earlier. But unfortunately, I wasn't. So. <laughs> Level 13, but before we go, let's have one more landing, shall we? It's not Qatar, it's not Emirates, it's not Etihad, it's... I don't know if I can't tell what it is. I think it's Ryanair. But, here it is, the final landing from the airport club. Enjoy. wrong. <laughs> it wasn't right there. It was Vwelling. That tail fin. I think that was a special because I've not seen that. That is not Vwelling's normal tail fin. Vwelling's tail fin is normally grey and yellow so that was nice. So I think in fact I think by the time I get back to the tram we might be in time for another landing and I just want to show you where this tram stop is because if you don't have to come to the pub you can always go here. There's the tram line. There's 23 right. All that's missing is a plane. Well, all that was missing was a plane. Look at how close this thing gets. from the station to Terminal 1 or 2. Let me show you. So you come down one of these. This one connects you to Terminal 1, which is that way, and the little ones go up, or over there. And as you can see, there's a second one just over there to each Terminal 2. Now, during the day, check the view out. And we're going up there. But it's a great view, especially when you're on your way on holiday. That's the view you get. You get to see your plane before you get on it. Pretty cool, really. But anyway, let's get up there. And I do apologise for the wind noise you're about to experience. Terminal two first. But yes, I am actually on top of level thirteen of Terminal one, looking out towards Radisson and Manchester City Centre. Trying not to fall over. I know Virgin's just been brought onto stand as well. And we can see just the side of Qatar. So that Virgin there just been brought onto stand. There's Ethiopian Aer Lingus, the 2737. And if you just look there. There's the special Qatar next to the Etihad. Now, I know Etihad is due to leave any time now. I think that's a virgin in front of it as well. And look what's just down to my left. It's the special Welling. <laughs> He's jet in the background and I think a special corporate plane in the middle there as well. I've only 
FedEx. The 8340 has not been back in a while, so whether that's now been charged somewhere else, I don't know. But that row there where the Jet 2 is, that used to be Virgin 747 row. Unfortunately, as we all know, the 747 left and the last one to ever leave Manchester. I was here for it, in fact, I put a video to that in the description down below. I mean, it's, it's sad that the 747 is no longer here, but Virgin, when they're all in, occupy that row. Jet 2 being the imposter for the day, I think. Given itself credentials, it definitely doesn't have. <laughs> There's the Ethiopian. The, the route that that plane takes is amazing. It goes from Addis Ababa in Ethiopia up to Brussels and then into Manchester. If someone can tell me why it does that route, I'd, I'd love to know because I personally don't know. But let's go and look at the A380, shall we? What I'm going to have to do, because of the sheer amount of wind and the noise it's going to make on this microphone, is I'm going to have to tone it down a bit. So coming up now is a special livery Air Lingus, Lauda, Ryanair and the A380. Enjoy. Just about do it for today's video here in Manchester Airport. Airport pub level 13 completed it. When runway operations commence on the second runway and when Terminal 3 reopens, we'll be back. And we'll do it from south side. How about that? We'll we'll complete the set. We've done the viewing park, we've done the pub. Let's do south side for the final video. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to miss a new video. I'm in the coffee cup. I promise we'll see you in the next one.